Delighted to have you with us. It's a bit of a snowy day, but given the possibilities of what it might have been, we're actually quite grateful that it's not any worse than this. It's my pleasure, and for those of you who have a program and have uh, had a chance to look at it, I'm uh, Sister Helen Marie Burns. I'm Vice President of Mission Integration here at Mount Aloysius College. And it really is my pleasure to welcome each of you, graduates, parents, family, and friends. We're delighted that you could gather with us this wintry afternoon to celebrate the achievements, the milestones, and the lives of several of the persons that are here with us. Our formal graduation, as you well know, happens in May, but there are many students who finish and complete their work in December. And we've decided in the last few years that it's appropriate to recognize that completion and also at the same time we encourage you to celebrate in May the full regalia of graduation. So that's what this afternoon is about. It's an opportunity to recognize, to celebrate, to mingle with one another, and to recognize in a very particular way the graduates of our December class. So to give us some thoughts in that regard, our president, Sister Mary Ann Dillon. Good afternoon, everybody. You know, this may be one of the best programs you ever went to because it's so short. <laughs> it's me, it's Sister Helen saying a prayer, and then it's food. So how's that? Yes, that's very, very good, isn't it? Welcome especially to all our December graduates, to your families and friends. I congratulate you on behalf of the entire college on your work that is, has been completed, and I join you in savoring the satisfaction of having met a goal you established for yourself several years ago. You know, when we accepted you, we were confident that you would take advantage of all the learning opportunities available. By completing your programs, you have shown focus, dedication, and commitment. I want to acknowledge also and to thank in a very special way the faculty and staff who have worked with you and who, like your families, have encouraged you, supported you, and sometimes pushed you beyond where you ever thought you might go. And there are a number of faculty here this afternoon. They're very proud of you and your achievements, as am I. For many of you who will be taking licensure exams in a short period of time, I want you to be encouraged by the performance of your predecessors. 97% of our radiography students passed their licensure exam last year. From the first graduating class of ultrasonography students, we are hearing great reports of their pass rates. 100% of our education students have passed required praxis exams. PTA students have performed exceedingly well on their licensure exams. Our last NCLEX nursing exam yearly report shows that our nursing students' pass rate, first time taking the exam, has been 82%. So for those of you who are preparing to take licensure exams in whatever area it might be, take heart, look at your predecessors, uh, and a word to the wise, act swiftly. Don't wait and procrastinate. You too can do very well. Your time here at Mount Aloysius College is very, very quickly coming to a close. In some ways, I know that you're very happy about that. No more papers, no more tests, at least not immediately, no more academic deadlines or late study nights. Still, as you drive off the campus today or tomorrow, I hope there is just a little twinge of sadness that you'll miss the friends you've made among classmates, faculty, and staff that you will carry happy memories associated with certain favorite places on the campus. Cosgrave Lounge, the library, the lab, the chapel, the gym, the snack bar, 
a special professor's office, perhaps. Most of all, I pray that you will take with you a certain confidence in your ability to perform as a professional in whatever venue you find yourself, and that, in addition, you will take with you the values upon which this college was founded, service, justice, mercy, and hospitality. And wherever you go, you will make those principles, service, justice, mercy, and hospitality, the basis for the way you work. Amen. 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 And that that workplace will be better because of your presence. We are very proud of you and of your achievements, and we celebrate those with your friends and family today. We look forward to your joining us on May 8, 2010, when in full academic regalia, you will formally celebrate commencement with the entire college community, including hundreds of other graduates. Until then, may you have courage for the coming year, fruit for your striving, friends if you roam, joy in your labor, and love in your home. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Marianne. Let us pray. Merciful God, in this season in which the Christian churches celebrate Advent, a time of waiting and hoping and seeking, we give thanks for our graduates who have indeed waited and hoped and searched through courses and clinicals and internships and tests and papers. We are grateful that their promise has been fulfilled at least somewhat. We are grateful also for parents, family, and friends who have also waited and hoped and encouraged. May each of us be aware today of the many gifts we have received from one another and from you, God of love and God of wonder. May each of us be blessed with an awareness of your loving presence in our lives. May we be open to your wisdom and your guidance. Place in our hearts a desire to please you, so that with every thought we may grow in understanding of your hope for humankind, and all our efforts will be filled with your peace. Bless the work of our hands, of our hearts, and of our minds. Reflect in us your goodness and love. Guide us always to new life and new birth. We ask all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.